In this lecture, I want to show you the component of time decay that is exponential. So we'll take a couple of examples to show you what we mean. Um, let's look at the May series that we were looking at, and we were looking at the 465 call. You can see, okay, I'm going to change this layout. All right, so we have this option going for about $26.30. And then if we came to the April series, and the same option was going for 2065. So we have 26.3 and 2065. So I have my little calculator here. I'm going to bring it here. So let's see, as a, as a percentage of the value of the option, how much time decay was lost. So the way we calculate that is 26.3 minus 20.65. This is the amount that the option lost in 30 days or in, in uh, one month uh, time frame. And so to find the percentage of the value of the option, we divided by 26.3. So if you look at that number, so it loses about 21%, 21.5%. Okay. So then we, uh, we take this off and then what we can do is look at the April, uh, I'm sorry, the March series and look at what the 465 is going for. It's going for 13.2. So again, in, from April, it came down from $20 even to about $13.15. So let's bring back our, um, calculator and see what that means. So 20 minus 13.15 is equal to 6.85 divided by 20 even. So that is 34.25%. So you can, you can see that already. So in the first month or rather between May and April, it lost 21%. Between April and March, it lost 35%. And now, if you wanted to go and look at, uh, you know, the Feb is getting over today. So really, you know, it's got now, you can see already the time has decayed and it's gone down to 54 cents. Of course, the option price is also moving because Apple seems to be uh, continue to go down. So as the price is going down, you can see the value of the option is also going to go down. Regardless, let's look at the, these options because this is, uh, this is very real stuff here. So it decreased from 13 um, dollars and 10 cents to 62 cents. So we don't even have to do the calculation. That's, you know, you know, that's over 95% of its value. So it lost over 95% of its value in the last uh, 30 days. But of course, it lost 95% of the value it had um, before 30 days. It lost 95% of, of that value. It didn't lose. I mean, over the life of this option, uh, it's going to have a very, it's going to come from a very high price. So, for example, if you go into October 2013, you can see the 465 call is going to have almost $40 in value. And if you want to go even further, let's go to Jan 2015. So, this is about almost two years away. And let's look at what the option price is for the four. They don't have a 465, but let, let's look at a 470. It's $67. So in two years, it's going to lose all this value and it's going to come to zero. Now, the only value it will retain is its intrinsic value. So if it has any intrinsic value, it's going to retain that. So, you know, just to give you an example, the intrinsic value does not get eroded with time decay. Let's look at the intrinsic value of the 440 call and that has an intrinsic value of about $24.50, okay? So now we go all the way down to our um, to our 2015 option. And if we look at the intrinsic value, it's $24 of the 440 call. That is of an option that is expiring today. Now we go all the way down to the two-year series. And if we look at the 440 call, it's going to be $24 again. So... This should be make it clear enough that intrinsic value cannot get destroyed. The intrinsic value might change because the price of the stock is changing. Yes, that's a different issue. But the intrinsic value cannot get destroyed due to time decay. So the, these were the two concepts I wanted to get through. 
um, you can see that as you approach expiry, you're going to see um, options losing their value in an exponential manner. And of course, intrinsic value can never get destroyed. And the third principle of time decay is that at the money options represent the maximum uncertainty and therefore they have the maximum extrinsic value. So now I do want to show you one thing which I think is important. You need to understand this concept. So we are going to look at the April and the March. So, you know, the April series has 63 days left to expiry. And we already saw that between April and March, um, the at the money call loses about 35% if I'm not mistaken. Let's do the calculation again. Um, so it will be 20 minus 13.3 divided by 20. So approximately, it's going to lose about 33%. Okay. Now, what we want to do is I'm going to take an out of the money option. So let's look at the 500 uh, call option. The 500 call is going for about $3.20 in the March series. And it's going for about... Um, it's going for about 7.95 in the um, April series. So if we bring back our calculator, so let's do 7.95 minus uh, what is this? 3.2 equals divided by 7.95 equals 59 percent. Okay. So this is a very key takeaway. The out of the money options are going to lose value much faster than your at the money options as a percentage of the value of that option. Okay. So if, and these things are going to play a major role in your strategy as you get more and more advanced. Right now we're just studying theory. And as you go into the more advanced courses, these little subtleties are going to become parts of your strategy. So these are very important concepts to grasp, at, you know, right now. So the out-of-the-money options are going to lose value at a faster rate than at-the-money options. So why is that? The reason is the out-of-the-money options are, they are, first of all, they are out of the money right now. So the chances of them coming in the money before expiry are low to begin with. If they are low to begin with, then with the passing of each and every day, their chances are getting rid, uh, our chances are reducing even faster. So that's why, and at the money options always represent the maximum uncertainty. So they will retain much more of their extrinsic value. However, the amount of time decay that happens on the out of the money options uh, they are actually much, much more as a percentage of the value of the option. Okay, you cannot compare the absolute values of these options. It's only as a percentage of the value of the option, it's going to lose much more money. So these are the concepts on time decay. There were a very few of the key concepts there. Um, in the money, op uh, options are going to have the least amount of time decay. So whenever you, you'll need to remember that also, just like we saw, out of the money have the most amount of decay. In the money, as a percentage of the value of the option, is going to have the least. And at the money options is going to have the maximum absolute value because it represents the maximum uncertainty uh, around this option. So that's as far as time decay is concerned. Like I said, time decay is going to play a critical component in all strategies. So we are going to continue to revisit these topics. The next chapter we are going to tackle implied volatility. Implied volatility is also an extremely important component of options pricing. So we are going to look at that in the next chapter. Thank you.